Okay. Babe. I honestly don't know where to start with you, but given the fact we only met three years ago, I guess I'll start from the top. People always told me that when you meet the person you're meant to be with, you just know. I honestly thought it was a whole lot of baloney until I met you. A couple years ago, Mike goes, I'm going to the West Coast. I'll be back on Sunday, Monday, we'll hang out. Text him, hey, did you land? No response. Mike's not a very good texter. Not a very good texter. Day later, he texts me, I'll be back next week. I don't know what happened. <laughs> all right, I trust you, I trust you. We all know Nat is a strong, independent woman, but there was always a little something missing. Who knew that something would be at the San Francisco Giants game? <laughs> so when she met Mike, obviously sparks flew, and when she told me that she met this cute guy from New Jersey and that he was gonna extend his stay to stay in San Francisco, I knew that this was the beginning of something special. He gets back the next week, comes over to my house the first day he lands, and goes, I met this girl, I'm gonna marry her. I came to San Francisco to sightsee and hang with my friend for the weekend, my buddy John here. <laughs> I left a week later, meeting and spending time with a woman um, that has changed my life for the best in every possible way. I try to catch myself now. All that I ask is you protect my brother's heart because when he loves, he loves extremely hard. And as you already know, he will make you feel like the most important person in the world. So my brother and now my new sister, I pray, I pray that God continues to bless your union together and that you both continually strive to grow individually so that you can be better for, as one. My wife passed on some beautiful genes, brains, bronze. and toughness. So Natalie's a competitive little thing. She's always down for a good time, as you all know, and oftentimes she's leading the charge. <laughs> if you're just a smidgen good at any sport, she has your number, she's inviting you to everything, you're on three different teams, you're in three different leagues, and you are locked into volleyball, softball, anything. It's been awesome. Uh, we spent a lot of time together, backyard, one-on-one, -on -one, basketball, it was always basketball. We were always together playing, you know, you know, shocker. Mike, blood cannot make us any closer. We've been there for each other in our lowest times. Um, we've cried to each other. We've laughed a lot. We've watched each other's successes in our, in our professions and in this game of basketball. And we challenge each other to be better men, sons, and now husbands each and every day. We met at the end of August, and early October, I went to visit my brother in San Diego. I told him that I loved you, and he thought I was crazy. <laughs> then, before I came to visit you later that same month, I almost said I love you when we said goodbye on the phone, which I totally thought I caught myself and pulled it off, but nope, turns out you knew exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> but thankfully, that same trip, you then told me you loved me. Natalie, you are my wife, my soulmate, my best friend, you, and everything in between. My heart is filled with joy and love every time I wake up with you by my side. I'm so blessed that I get to live this life with you by my side and hold your hand until the end of time. The next month in November, when I went to Germany for work, you sent me an article about soulmates. If it was anyone else, I would have thought, oh my God, I have a stage five clinger on my hand. <laughs> But everything with you is, has just felt so different in the best possible way. Your determination, strength, and persistence inspire me to be a better man every day. And I promise to do the same for you. Along with that, you are beautiful, sexy, smart, hilarious, and a million other things that still can't describe how amazing you are. You can light up any room with your personality, smile, laugh, and I promise to make you shine each and every day. One of the quotes from that article says, your soulmate makes you feel entirely whole, healed and intact, like no piece is missing from the puzzle. I have to say, I didn't know if I believed in soulmates before meeting you, but after we met, it's clear that you are my soulmate and we are meant to spend the rest of our lives together. Natalie, I will love you unconditionally 
and I will care for you, support you, and cherish you always, and guide you forever, my love. so much and I can't wait to be your wife. It is now my privilege to introduce to you all for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Michael Shaughnessy. Woo!